Welcome back, adventurers. Welcome back. I am still headed down south. If you caught the five minutes of your time video before this one, uh, this was also going to be a five minutes of your time video, but this one's going to be uh, five minutes of your time supporting Forgotten Angels. I may already have one that says that. If that's the case, I'll just say two point two point. But yeah, I version two. I don't know, guys. Shoot, let me find out first. Then I'll rename it from there. Anyway, uh, supporting the Forgotten Angels. You know that's what we do in our household here on my channel. We support Forgotten Angels down in Tampa uh, to the point where we have donated a motorcycle. It was a 06 Kawasaki Z750S and we are we have in possession our next donation bike for Forgotten Angels. It's a 1983 Honda CX650C. That is a mouthful. They are clearly taking pages out of the Harley book when they want to create these extra long names. Um, but it is at the house and is not ready to be donated. That's the problem, guys. We can't out of pocket directly quickly enough fund this project by getting to presentation quality by October. That's kind of already looming effect already looming over my head with it now being April and I haven't made any progress with that bike as of right now other than cleaning it and putting it into the location where it will be worked on. That's all I've been able to do with it. I have figured out that the battery is completely shot, but then again, Luke of Wonderlust Travelers kind of told me that to begin with, so it's not really any new information. But it is information. It is something I've verified for using my chargers, and they didn't work, the bike wouldn't start, so it's verified. So I will already know we're going to have to replace the battery. But we'll, we'll talk about Project Opasminuado on another time. What we're talking about right now is supporting Forgotten Angels. Now, clearly, through what I was just talking about, my household and my channel supports Forgotten Angels. Now, you can too. It is simple. All you got to do is go to the uh, Forgotten Angels website and click on their raffle. They give away motorcycles all the time. I've been present when they've given away three, three, uh, yeah, because they gave away White Lightning and Black Thunder together, and then they gave away the Rocket 3 at the March campout. So yeah, I've literally seen them call three different people to give away these motorcycles. I've met three previous winners. In fact, one of them's now a buddy of mine, sick bastard. Hey, man, what's going on? Uh, he's the one that won the white FXR. Gorgeous motorcycle. Too pretty for me, to be honest, but gorgeous motorcycle. And sick won that motorcycle because he was supporting Forgotten Angels. Just like most of us who put in for the raffles, we never expect to win. Winning is just a, an added benefit, in, in my opinion. If I never win a motorcycle, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I, I am donating to the cause regardless of the reward from it. And to be honest, most of these bikes they've been giving away lately, I can't really do them justice. Like right now. The current ra uh, raffle bike is a 82 Honda CBX 1000. A immaculate icon bike. But if it comes to my household, it's, it's going to be in the wrong place. That bike isn't meant for me. Just like 6 white FXR isn't meant for me. And said, God, I hope I'm getting that name of that bike right, man. <laughs> uh, but 
bikes that need work, that need maintaining, that need uh, regular washing and polishing and cleaning, those bikes aren't meant for me. Those kind of cars aren't meant for me because I hate washing something just to get on it and make it filthy again. Now, I love making it filthy again. Don't get me wrong. I live that life. But I don't really live the washing part. So some of these bikes to come to my household would be giving them a punishment they don't deserve. Cruel and unusual punishment. That's what it would be like. Now the Rocket 3, gorgeous motorcycle, would not have been cruel and unusual to come into my household. That is a road rocket. It is meant to go down in a straight line and that's what I could have done with it. <laughs> Wouldn't have been no trouble. But anyway, um, so if you want to support Forgotten Angels, feel free to buy a raffle ticket. Buy five, buy ten, buy twenty. All the proceeds go to the Forgotten Angels. No matter who you buy the tickets through, whether you go through Shade Tree Surgeon and find the raffle that way, or if you go through Rainy Rider and find the raffle that way, the, all the links go to the same raffle, which go to the same bikes, which means all the money goes to the same people, so you're supporting the right people. And like they say in Florida, it's more gambling for a good cause. I really know how I feel about that, gambling for a good cause. A good cause to gamble for me is to, is to make money. Um, so, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if donating to our uh, gambling for a good cause is quite the words I would use. But, they're not my words, I stole them from somebody, a uh, Floridian, a matter of fact. Um, and that brings me to my next point. If you don't want to support Forgotten Angels through uh, donations or through buying raffles or in any shape, form, or fashion directly, but you want to, on the outskirts, support them. Support those that put in time and effort to Forgotten Angels. Small things like in my channel alone where I do the little icon, just like rolling with Tebow. Hey, he's, he's my North Georgia brother. Uh, rolling with Tebow puts an emblem in his videos, somewhere in the video. Same as I do. But his looks a little better because his has a background to it. Mine's just the, the ghost outline. So if, if I don't put it with the right backdrop, you can't really see it. It's always there, but you may not see it which kind of defeats the purpose. So I guess I need to revamp that. But you can support those that support Forgotten Angels. Like I said, like Rolling with T-Bone, like my channel, Shea Tree Surgeon, Shea Lisi, Whiskey Chaser, Rainy Rider, Red Rider, uh, AZDZ Adventures, uh, and I'm going to start losing them. That's what I'm calling them out. But you can't forget my friends. Rolling T Bone, Recycled Hooligan, and Sick Bastard. Those are three guys that I consider friends. And we're forming a little community with the Forgotten Angels. All of us YouTubers, all of us content creators. That's what the, the campouts are for, is giving us all a chance to come together and celebrate Forgotten Angels together and to enjoy each other's fellowship and have fun and drink some beer. <laughs> but, forgot where I was, guys. Uh, support Forgotten Angels, the community. Ah, ha, ha, like my little segue. So, a community that we're building is exactly the community being provided for the young men and women that are being helped through Forgotten Angels. Here's a way to look at it, okay? Let's say you're a family of five, nuclear family. You have a mom, a dad, and then you have two siblings, you being the third child, right? The mom and dad support all three kids. The 
kids support each other. Okay. Now each kid now has a family of their own and they start having kids. Now the mom and dad support the kids, support the grandkids. And it, it keeps crossing over where everyone is supporting everyone as the family is growing, as the community is growing. It's not a cult. No. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. Need a refill. Reload. Oh, but it's filling. Anyway, um, that's what is being built by David and Cindy at Forgotten Angels. They are building the community for these kids. These kids can now, not only have they gotten them from point A to point B to point Z in their life, but they have now given these kids a net, a safety net that is nationwide, that is global through Forgotten Angels through all of us that support Forgotten Angels. David should know, just in his heart, that if one of his angels is traveling through Georgia, no matter where at in Georgia, one of his supporters is ready and willing to do whatever is needed to support that angel who is traveling through. And what I mean by that is, let's say they have a kid named Tommy. Tommy's coming north. Well, Tommy's coming north and he blows a tire on his car. Somewhere on I-75, which is where I'm at now. I'm traveling south on I-75. Well, I already know David's going to have these kids knowing how to change the tire. But let's say two tires go out. I didn't speak to you, servant. Be quiet. Anyway, um, but something happens and Tommy needs a little extra help, okay? Well, David should know in his heart that all he has to do is reach out to any of his supporters in the Georgia area to see who is closest to Tommy to provide Tommy with the extra help he needs. And, and I may be wrong for feeling that way, but I feel that's what the community that is supporting Forgotten Angels, what we represent outside of the camp out, is a safety net for all of us who support Forgotten Angels. Like Shade Tree, everyone who watches him knows he's bound to shoot off on a motorcycle in one direction or the other, and it may or may not get to where he wants it to go by its own power. So, in my mind, I, what I see in here is members of the Shade Tree Army or supporters of Forgotten Angels represent a safety net for Shade Tree when he's traveling from area to area to where if he has any issues, all he has to do is reach out and there's someone nearby, you know, maybe an hour, maybe two, maybe six hours. But someone nearby that can reach down and help in whatever the situation is. That's what the community I I envision for Forgotten Angels. Just as an example, another example, uh, Sick Bastard, they they rode to Sick's house to link up with him to take him to Tampa to get his his white lightning. That's the kind of support net that I feel and I and I and I see being there for all of us that create forgotten angels. And I've said this before on my channel. There is a section on the back side of my property uh, that is designated for any of the supporters of forgotten angels. And I've said this on other videos. No one has taken me up on the offer, but the offer is still on the table regardless. It may not be as pristine back there as I had before, but that's no more than a, a day or two with my weed eater and my chainsaw. And my get, uh, lawnmower. But anyway, if anyone is traveling through the area and needs to drop a trailer, because they're, like David and Cindy did, the day I met them, when they dropped off the 
Indy Ridge boots that are now in the back of the Jeep because I, there is a possibility I may have to ride a motorcycle this in this trip. So I have my gear in the back of the Jeep, and that is my Indy Ridge boots. When I met David and Cindy, they gave us both me and Mala, which is my wife, aka Brady Chameleon. When they gave us those boots, is when we gave them the other bike. Now, when we did that, I had no idea of the size of the community that was behind Forgotten Angels. I'm going to be 120% honest. I thought they were in more need of supporters than, than a, a, a play to the game. <laughs> Let me say that. I'm not discrediting anything that I, we've done so far, but I am late to that game, guys. Um, and I, I am trying to show as much support for all the others that I can. And I apologize to everyone for being so late and learning this stuff so slow. Jeez, um, it's... I'm getting better. I am getting better. But <laughs> I'm losing where, where I was going with this. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I can't remember where I was. Go out and support them. Do a like. Do, do a subscribe. Throw in some comments on any of the guys and gals that support Forgotten Angels. If you don't know who they are, that's fine. Just type in your search bar, Forgotten Angels Campout. And you're going to see the multitude of supporters for Forgotten Angels. And do like I did. That's how I started finding all the channels that support Forgotten Angels. I went and watch the premieres and saw who was commenting. Like, okay, who is Seventh Sin? Let me click on this one. Okay. Oh, snap. Motorcycle content. Supports Forgotten Angels. Subscribe. Done. Hit the little bell icon. Bling. I know I like my bells. Same thing with uh, Recycled Hooligan. I found him the same way. I was just watching the uh, premiere live chat and saw Recycled Hooligan. We had a very quick, short conversation. Clicked on his channel. Subscribe. Bell icon. Bling. And Sick Bastard. Same way. Bling. Well, I actually got to physically meet him at the last camp out in March. So that, that's a step up than where I'm at with Recycled Hooligan. No offense, Hooligan, but me and you just haven't met yet. And sorry. I know we will, though. I know we will. I'm patient. I know these things. Look out for the tire, guys. The tire in the road. <laughs> a lot of tire in the road. Well, not so much. Okay. The shadow was worse than it is. But just watch the live chats. And the people commenting in the premieres are going to be the main ones who are supporting Forgotten Angels and also supporting each other in these live chats, in these premieres where we're talking to each other about what we're doing, what we have going on, how we connect with what we're doing, with what content's in the video. And I've apologized to Hooligan, I don't know how many times. I get in his live chat during one of his premieres or one of his live streams, and I kind of have a whole ass conversation with somebody else while he's doing his live stream. Like we're at a bar and he's talking to everybody else, and I pull little, little Tommy Sue and Billy Bob over here in the corner, and we're having a whole second conversation. So, if you want to know how to support Forgotten Angels without going directly to Forgotten Angels, support those that support what David and Cindy do down there, and come and see us in October. Uh, there's going to be another camp out. We do two camp outs a year. One's in March. One's in October. One in October is always at Halloween, and it is always uh, Ren Fest themed. Or if you don't feel like wearing a Ren Fest kind of costume, wear what you want. We're a bunch of freaks and weirdos who like ride motorcycles and drink beer. Not at the same time. So you're bound to fit in in some way or another. I am, in fact, Tiger Especial, or I think that's how you say it. Anyway. 
what it's meant to say is I'm the one who takes care of Ty Tiger during the campouts. And that's because the last two campouts, I've been watching and holding over Tiger, making sure that Cindy had nothing to worry about. He was safe in a good place. He'd be fed, watered, and entertained as I walk around the campouts with Tiger. Uh, Mawa slash Brandy Chameleon has even made jokes about making me my own shirt. I am already started to make uh, Tiger his own throne. And let me explain the throne real quick. What that is, is it's going to be a little harness, like a reverse backpack, if you will, that I'm going to be able to wear and that Tiger can sit comfortably on this little platform and on his throne as I walk him around the camp out and that way I have my hands free so I can shake hands and kiss babies and drink beer. But all that being said, I have another short coming out. It's going to be five minutes of your time, uh, support project, Opossum Inuado, which means blue truck, in case you were wondering. Uh, some of you may not be fluent in Spanish. And I like to provide the translations when I can. Uh, so, the, the Project Blue Truck, Opas Minuado, um, will have a video coming out on it soon. Probably right after this one because I'm going down to the in-laws and will be down there a few days as David heals from his motorcycle accident. Uh, that's David, my father-in-law, not David from Forgotten Angels. Let me clarify. When I was talking about that earlier, someone thought that David from Forgotten Angels was the accident. No, 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 no. But as I'm down there, I'm going to have plenty of time to do some editing, have some fun with it. So, uh, be an, uh, keep an eye out for Project Inuado, or possibly Inuado. Alright, adventures. Y'all take care.